And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, for yet another week of more hockey. The Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic uh, here. I am your host, Hockey Night, wearing my pink in support of the, our October drive for awareness to uh, cancer, breast cancer, and all the different cancers that uh, maybe uh, you know someone that has been affected by uh, cancer, maybe you have uh, cancer in your family, or maybe you yourself uh, are uh, undergoing treatment. Uh, maybe you know a loved one who passed away. Uh, but, of course, uh, I want to apologize to you, my uh, listeners out there, to say, um, I'm sorry, I, I should have remembered to bring and wear this uh, the past two games here, but unfortunately, I'm... Oh, yeah, even though I did uh, leave the uh, things on there, I just wanted to, you know, like, at least up on the screen there, like, I had the, um, I guess, the uh, cancer awareness uh, uh, stuff up there. I uh, didn't quite remember to wear my pink uh, shirt there, but we got it on now, so, we, of course, we want to talk a little bit about that as we go along and let's see what we have here. So this week we're going to go with the uh, defending Stanley Cup champion St. Louis Blues versus the uh, upstart uh, Vegas Golden Knights. I haven't real. I don't really choose the Golden Knights off uh, that often, but more or less I do like to do the uh, like get as many variety of teams in there as possible here for the uh, representative of the game of the week here. Maybe we'll do some more NHL teams later on, but uh, for now we'll talk about uh, more. I want, we'll talk about more about the NHL and how, how many teams seem to have uh, gone on uh, at least a good two weeks or so. And, uh, and they were undefeated. I guess tonight, as the time I am uh, recording this, of course, if uh, you'll be watching this either live on my website or on twitch.tv, uh, uh, this is the upload to uh, YouTube. But I want to say, hey, uh, thank you for watching this, uh, the game of the week on the Confession of Hockey Fanatic YouTube channel. Uh, at the time I was making this, the... Colorado Avalanche were those, uh, I guess, lone survivors as, uh, as far as the undefeated were suggested. So, oh, look at that. We do have, um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite, I, I have to rely on my mobile dashboard here and try and reconnect here. So, okay. Alrighty, so as we move along here, oh, I just kind of stumbled right into that. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, whoop, whoa, <laughs> falls down, alright, try that again. So, uh, thank you very, very, very much for, uh, those of you who uh, may have stopped into the chat today, and, uh, let me know, uh, what you think here, of course, uh, this is the Game of the Week, it's my, uh, my boy, uh, Jaden Schwartz, speaking of, uh, cancer, I guess, uh, you know, of course, uh, Jaden's, uh, sister would, uh, lost her battle, uh, with, uh, deadly disease, and of course the uh, Mandy Schwartz Foundation, who I've I've tried to endorse uh, time and time again here on the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic. I believe uh, she had the uh, you know, bone marrow uh, transplant, and she was oh, she's there. We go, shorthanded, just like we, <laughs> just like it's a carryover from last week. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll give it we'll give it another try here. In just a second. Let's see if we can get into the room. There we go. Much better. So I like the new camera angles with the replays that they do now. It's more of a three sixty type of effect. Which is really good. But um Oh, welcome back, Miles. Uh, I am, I, of course, doing the Game of the Week here, featuring the Las Vegas 
Golden Knights and the defending Stanley Cup champion St. Louis Blues. And uh, trying to, uh, of course, uh, this is the October uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and of course, I got my got all my pink represent. I should have had that on last week, but uh, I, I guess I forgot to do that. Even though I didn't forget that it was uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and here in October, uh, we're for every October uh, game of the week. We try to go pink. And, of course, build some awareness, build some support, and build some rally against all those folks. Cause, because, you know, who knows? Uh, it's been such tragedy that it, cancer is so widespread now, it's become, like, like, maybe you know somebody in your family... Or you know somebody in, you know, somebody else's family. You know, some uh, at least somebody who was, uh, had to go through the uh, horrible treatments. Oh, oh, that's gonna be. Is that gonna be penalty? Yeah, that's probably gonna penalty. Oh, great. Oh well. Alrighty. So enough rambling on. Uh, of course, I I just also watched my hometown Pittsburgh Penguins defeat the Colorado Avalanche in real life in overtime. And uh, defeated the uh, with that defeat, the Colorado Avalanche were the uh, sole remaining undefeated team two weeks into the season. Oh, jeez, come on, guys. Get the puck. I can get it out of there. I know, I know you're, you're on the... Uh, you're on the defensive uh, side. You're killing the penalty here, but... You're, you're allowed, you have a right to the puck. <laughs> Grab it from the other guy and get it out of the zone. That's what, that's what you have to do. So, uh, alrighty, so... Patch ready. Skates with it. Try and kill some time off this uh, power play clock here for the St. Louis. Got a couple more, maybe get some more time in, in uh, our own zone here. Try and learn how to pass back and forth here. Because that's what killed us in the last game. That we had absolute zero, well, not absolute, absolute. But uh, we really did not have all that much time in our own offensive zone. And, by, and for those of you who don't know hockey quite as well, the offensive zone is this space here that where I have the puck. And I, anything beyond that blue line up there is uh, as long as we have it here. And Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, is it? Oh, okay. I didn't hear a, I didn't hear a whistle. But we're already down one nothing here to the St. Louis defending champion St. Louis Blues. Try and win the try and grab that face off. And Peary. Oh, there we go. Nick Holden. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh. That was so lucky. So. Yeah, uh, work has been uh, calmed down uh, the past couple days. It's, it hasn't been as stressful. I don't normally like to talk about it uh, while I'm live streaming here on the uh, uh, Confession of the Hockey Fanatic channel, but uh, for those of you who are you know, in the know, I do appreciate you asking about it uh, there in the chat room. So, uh, yeah. 
because right, normally I, I do upload these uh, just in case you, uh, you're new here to the channel uh, when I get done here I do uh, pull it off uh, twitch.tv and then I upload it to the YouTube channel so uh, I don't I want to leave oh there we go get the passing zone nope Okay, and that's what we don't want to do here uh, tonight. We do not want to recreate the same situation that we had uh, last week with uh, Tampa Bay and Florida. Two Florida, uh, Floridian teams. Let's see, come on. Okay, uh, okay there we go. We, we don't want to just carry the puck up into the offensive zone and just turn it right back over we're not we can't win with this uh, constant there we go come on there we go break away ah, okay all right there is a decent chance decent chance we're down to nothing but uh, uh all right, so we got a uh, question in the chat room there. It says, uh, uh, who is your favorite hockey team? And uh, I just brought that up uh, at the beginning of the game there where I, uh, my hometown Pittsburgh Penguins are indeed my favorite hockey team in the NHL right now. And uh, I've been following them for a long time and been uh, fortunate enough to see them uh, raise the uh, Stanley Cup above their heads uh, for... A number of uh, times already when a lot of other teams uh, like other fans that I know have never been able to see their uh, beloved franchises win a Stanley Cup and speaking of you know, uh, not being able to watch it uh, we've also uh, seen the St. Louis Blues uh, this past season win the Stanley Cup championship and uh, in their 50 some yeah, 50 51 year history finally won the Stanley Cup uh, since uh, their first season uh, over half a century ago. Oh, ho, ho, I locked down on that one. It looks like. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, did that go in? Did, oh, oh. Look like he well, put it in there. So we're just going to have to go back into the. Yeah, we're going to have to go back into the locker room here and regroup, reset ourselves. We still got lots more hockey to play here. We're going to take a look at the stats. So I'm sure uh, the uh, time in the attacking zone is not going to be good. I, <laughs> I said to myself, we're not going to repeat uh, last uh, week's uh, effort. And we're certainly going to get a lot better here on the microphone as well here on the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic. You're either you're watching live on the website itself or here on twitch.tv slash hockey1921. So uh, the total shots, uh, we're getting, uh, bl uh, yeah, that's pretty much a little over 2-1 to one on shots. That's not good. Uh, time on attack, okay, that's... Not good either, but I it looks a little bit running. Uh, that's not too bad. Okay, uh, the face-offs. I have yet to win a face-off here. That's not good either. And shorthanded goals is not good as well. So as with me playing uh, the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights, or the to shorten to Vegas Golden Knights, not. I don't know why they, they don't say Las Vegas instead. Like it, It's like the whole city decided to rename itself Vegas. When you say Vegas, it's, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But Las Vegas. Or the Ve <laughs> oh, boy. So, all right, let's quit. Uh, I think I've given my team uh, some time to uh, chillax a bit. We're going to try and uh, get a better effort here. We got it's a pretty decent passing there with uh, uh, a little bit better than they are at the 80% passing. That's probably about the only good spot that we've had so far. So we're going to try and uh, win a couple face-offs here and try and uh, be more conscious of the 
uh, effort in our own zone. So there we go. Alrighty, so if you do uh, find yourself uh, here or uh, you want to stick around uh, later on after the game, I'm, I'm probably going to come up with some more, uh, I guess, Twitch-only uh, uh, content, the, the type of content that I won't be uploading to the YouTube channel. Oh, come on, guys. Get pinned up against the boards like that. Trying to... Oh... Okay. Try this again here. So get another shot. All right. Get the rebound. Try and work it around. Oh, man. All right. Try and get to the loose. Get into the. It's all about getting to the loose pucks and trying to maintain that possession there. Because. Not again. Not again. And the slaughter continues. <laughs> Already 0-2 for the uh, weekend game of the week against the computer and Marc-Andre Fleury. Not doing well. Coming up a little bit short here. Yeah, it looks like it was either deflected but uh, thanks, Miles, for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, of course, I see some uh, nice uh, messages there in the on the app in the uh, room there. I do appreciate you stopping around, just stopping by and saying hello. I do, uh, and of course, uh, we're going to try and get some more content here on the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic channel. Okay. Oh, man. Slow to get up there. Mark Stone took a vicious hit. Vicious, vicious hit. There we go. How do you like that? Nope. Try to get the head pass there. Okay. Oh, turns it over again. Another turnover. Awful, awful, awful. Alright, Nick. See what you can do here. Nick Holden. Oh. oh, that's that's another bad ill advised mispass there. And of course takes us out of our own offensive uh, puts us in our own zone here in the defense. Terrible, terrible trip. Okay. Nope. Nope, still can get it. Well, at least we got a couple shots off that time around. Trying. Ah, bad pass. That's that's terrible, terrible, terrible. And I think that's uh, Oscar Sunquist's second goal of the game. nothing still not winning face off still not uh, spending time in the offensive zone like we wanted still not control the puck oh, getting run over okay Ryan Reeves, former Penguin, getting hit up against the boards, and of course, gets roughed up. 
turns it about back over and scores yet another one terrible at this game Braden Shen Not good. Five nothing. We got Alright, we got we gotta do something here, got uh, guys. We gotta at least make it look respectable. Try and get at least one goal. Don't be shut out like last week. And of course not I don't know. Maybe it's my pro. Maybe it's my entering into the zone. Like maybe it's maybe none of this. Oh, there we go. Finally, Carlson. Carlson with the goal. All righty. That's what that's what we have to do here. And all boom, right there. Good shot, good shot. We're on the comeback trail. This is it. This is how we do it. No more goals for them. What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> oh, brother. What did I just say? going to make it extremely, extremely hard to come back from that. I mean, uh, granted, they are the defending champions. They are going to be a tough team. They are going to... I am a little bit of a disadvantage. I don't quite have the same type of uh, offensive power that they do. But... And, of course, I'm not exactly the, uh, the best uh, video game player in the world, but... I do need One minute left in the second period. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't know. Is it too late to uh, turn it down? Maybe... Get it in on a lower setting, perhaps. <laughs> oh boy! Alrighty. Maybe you're gonna put it in on a easier setting. So that was a total disaster. I told them we couldn't afford another game or another goal, but yet they put in another three spot. It was at four, no, seven to one. Still have yet to win a face-off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but passing went uh, down significantly. They're getting more time on attack in their zone. The hits just keep on coming. 
and I'm not getting enough shots. Like it, it's, you know, no wonder I'm losing seven one with those types of stats. Like that, I'm, I'm not winning any faceoffs. I'm not. Uh, it, it's just this is not how you play the game right. Alrighty. Come on, boys. Let's do this here. Let's uh, make it respectable. Let's uh, try and uh, keep uh, keep the puck out of our own net. If we have to go down 7-1, we'll have to do that. But Okay. Like that. Oh, always getting knocked off the puck. Oh, and of course, shooting it off the... Not even registering, and that's why we're not even registering a shot now. We're, we're not even... Oh, boy, look at that. Passing in the open man. They can do whatever they want. Oh, we, yep, look at that. Just trucked him. Okay, he, he can't even get up. He's going to have to run right for, uh, right for the bench after that one. 2 1 0. Oh. Man, they're hurting my guys out there. Oh, look at that. They're blocking shots. Not only am I, like, the precious time, the precious seconds that I do have in my own zone, they're blocking shots and going the other, right, other way with it. Look at that. Oh, God. Come on, guys. Another, another brutal hit. Oh, you guys are gonna give me a uh, power play? That's good. Yeah, that's got to be worth something. Oh man, look at that! Bulldozed him. That's it. Come on, guys. Let's let's get it back here. Let's get to, get it back to respectability here. We might not be able to win this game, but let's uh, let's show up. Let's give let's give it the old college try. What did what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? Another terrible face off. Another. Oh, look at that! Didn't even. You got the power play. Come on, guys! You got the power play, and there's more guys on our side than there are of their side, and you still only manage. Three seconds in the offensive zone. That's horrible. Blocking shots. Sentiment into the boards. Turnovers. Bad passing. All right, let's give us another shot here. Okay. Oh, and of course, brought it off sides. Why not? Lose it on the face. Lose another face off. Look at that! He doubled me up in the ets already.
It's right there! It's right there! Guys, it's right there! Okay. All right, get in front, get into the passing lane. Not getting the rebounds. Okay. Whoop. Thought I had a screen on there. I thought I had thought I had a decent shot, but I got passed it too late. Guys, that's not the direction I was aiming for. I didn't hear a whistle. I didn't hear a whistle. Yes. Yeah, so it did register one at least one face-off win on that. Oh, turnover! Another turnover. And zap that one. At least we get a. Can't get it. Get so many centering passes and I don't know what what they do to block up the block up the shot, but it's just not good. Okay, some highlights there. Or low lights from uh, for me anyway. Got the couple big hits afterwards, but Oh well, maybe I should uh play something closer to my level, I guess. I don't know. See some of the final stats there. Yeah, that time on attack is way off balance. Passing. Kind of held steady. Maybe you got bottomed out there at uh, 78.9 there. Got the one face off one. Uh, that's not good. Still not good, but 
Oh, well, I think that's pretty much uh, my handicap here for this game. We're just not winning enough face-offs. And this computer knows how to score some goals there. Spend a lot. Uh, they're very, very relentless in their own defensive zone. But on offense, they're just as great. So uh, that looks like the three stars. Uh, Perone, Sunquist, and Blaise. We're the St. Louis Blues, the defending uh, Stanley Cup champions, finish out 7-1 against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And of course, uh, I'm going to be hanging around a little bit later on here on the uh, Twitch.tv, maybe uh, doing a little bit more one-on-ones uh, -on or something like that, so maybe hanging out with everyone else, but... Until then, I'll see you next week.